To some of you, 2,000 calories may seem like a struggle to stay under. For others, a burger's fries and a milkshake will do just that. And I don't know about you, but I like to eat a lot of food. So if 2,000 calories is gonna continue to get me shredded, then let me show you how it's done. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the prep series and in case you missed it we recently shopped at walmart and did some food shopping but today i want to show you how i implement these exact foods and fit them in my diet shredded oh yeah i'll let you guess the weight we're not there yet but we're getting closer and closer each week Now today, meal one is actually pretty simple. It's quick, it's easy, it requires no cooking, and it's high in protein. My favorite protein powder, and my favorite protein bar, no cap. It's so good, so good. Mm. So what changed from our previous 2300 calorie full day of eating video to today? Well, number one, these are my current calories and macros. So we went from 240 grams of carbs, brought them down to 200 grams and 50 grams of fat and brought them down to 40. So yeah, I'm not that happy, but it's okay. Number two, we changed up our breakfast. Why? Well, because, <clears throat> and number three, as expected, we bumped up our cardio from 40 minutes to 60 minutes. So yeah, I'm not as happy, but here we are. I'm ready to suffer because we're just a few more weeks away from the big day. It's so good. Meal number two, and I kid you not, the power was just out for about an hour. So I decided to make my pre-workout just a little bit earlier because you don't want to have Greek yogurt and frozen berries there for too long. And I didn't know when the power was going to go out. And it just turned back on. So this was once my late night dessert, as you guys know. But I don't think it brings the same value and can match what I'm going to show you tonight. So we changed things up a little bit today. So for pre-workout, we're having lactose and shitty free Greek yogurt and some frozen berries and frozen banana. Honestly, it's the banana that really does it for me. You can't go wrong with Greek yogurt. It's such an easy and fun way to get some protein. And I say fun because you can add a lot of stuff to it. And if you watch my full day of eating videos, you know that for dessert, we make it fun and creative and we add a lot more stuff and love to this. But for keeping it nice and plain, carbs aren't as high. So we definitely want to utilize those pre-workout. I just got this in the mail. It's my favorite people, TLF. And I'm trying to figure out if we're going to go with these or with these to the gym today. These are just, wow. But I think we're gonna go uh, pretty plain today. What do you think? Now the question is, pump cover or no pump cover? Honestly, I'm too much of a skinny bitch right now, and the leaner you get, the colder everything feels. So uh, yeah, pump cover it is. So not sure if you guys know, but I've done Taekwondo for about like 14 years, and sometimes I just like to bring uh, my karate kit out. So uh, perfect, let's go. Come on! Do some shit like that. Only he could do some shit like that. So you woke up the dogs. You woke up the dogs. Call me Bucky Nick is lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh, how about nigga rapping conscious buddy? Quick little warm up before our working sets. Uh, how about nigga rapping conscious but he ignorant? Uh, how you find a hub but still gon' go legitimate? Uh, how you fuck a bunch of bitches but they still respect the women? He's a rolling, it's another. He just got the windows tinted. Homie stab me in the back and that can never be forgiven. And my pines been itching, man. I like the superstition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can't have my phone number unless we running up the digits. Let me meditate. I just need a couple minutes. Tryna low bump me. My cajon is to the big ass. Bitch, I get high. I ain't looking at the clock, still ballin' like bra. Yeah, I'm headed to the bus, then I'm ballin' like yeah. All right, so we did a low incline and now more of a regular incline. I'd say about 45 degrees. Main focus is the upper chest. 
either way, whether you're doing incline, flat, or decline, you're still training the overall chest. One thing I do want you guys to focus on, or at least watch what I'm doing, is not necessarily the, the tempo, but the control from both the top and the bottom half of the exercise, how I don't use momentum to bounce out. I pause at the bottom, pause at the top. Bitch, I get, bitch, I get, bitch, I yeah, get. Let me meditate, then I celebrate. Trying to get the cake, I don't take a break. Mm, yeah, bitch, wait. Grew up in the 90s, we was watching Ricky Lake. We was eating top ramen, no a TV dinner plate. Uh, made that couple dollars, so I probably get the steak. Go See, what I love about this machine is that it's a converging press, not a fully converging press. Ideally, we'd love that, but it's more of like a half, right? So if we can get a half, we're going to get that. And converging meaning coming towards, coming together, so we can get that contraction makes it a little bit easier i'm so epidemic i'm a cause an epidemic put my feet up in the building bitch i'm feeling like a bitch i get hot i ain't looking at the clock still falling like brah on to my favorite muscle group the shoulders but specifically the side delts ever since starting and competing in men's physique and really understanding the aesthetics you want to get wide you got to spam those lateral raises so we're doing some chest supported lateral raises using the bench not ellie's hand but chest to press against the bench push those dumbbells away from the body nasty look like right there let's go Falling like Bitch, I get, bitch, I get, bitch, I yeah, get. Let me meditate, then I celebrate. Trying to get the cake, I don't take a break. Mm, yeah, bitch, wait. Grew up in the 90s, we was watching Ricky Lake. We was eating top ramen, no a TV dinner plate. Uh, made that couple dollars, so I probably get the steak. Go on, my dad, John and Venice. I those failure quit. reps, those partial reps, don't forget them. They're just as important as the first ones. If you have access to some tables and a strap, whether it's a strap or a handle, I'd recommend trying some of these out. I'm gonna do a shoulder video for you guys pretty soon. Maybe head out to Iron with Andrew and do a full shoulder workout for you guys. Show you how to build some big ass shoulders. I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like bra. Bitch, I get, bitch, I get, bitch, I get hot. There it is, post-workout meal number three. My absolute favorite, why? Because you gotta keep it simple sometimes. So we got our usual chicken and sweet potatoes. Now, if you've been watching my full day of eating videos, you know that I've been using either almond butter or peanut butter on top of the potatoes, but being that our calories and macros changed, I changed it up a little bit and went with a whole egg. Now, mixing an egg with the potatoes, let me tell you, that's magic. Add a little bit of cinnamon and salt to the sweet potatoes, add this roasted garlic and herb seasoning, and you got yourself a meal. We have our um, diet ginger ale. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. I do want to show you a full shoulder workout routine pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. But intensity's high, feeling really good, surprisingly, even though we're just a few weeks away from show day. What are you, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. She was just gonna open it for me. <laughs> hey, let me get it, let me get it. <laughs> Sam's a thief. Oh, wow. oh yeah, oh, the sound of that, just the sound. You're the worst. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is meal number three. We have a special one for tonight, so stay tuned. You know, G always has some surprises for you guys. So tonight, I'm feeling a little Italian. Well, I am part Italian, but I'm in the mood for some pasta. So let's get cooking. Now one thing I wanted to show you is this is 200 calories of regular pasta. Pretty embarrassing if you ask me but this is about 200 calories of spaghetti squash. Now this is where volume becomes king when dieting. So which one do you think I'm eating tonight? So first start by preheating the oven to about 400 degrees. Next, cut your squash on both ends before cutting it in half. To avoid the added calories, I spray it around with olive oil spray and sprinkle in some black pepper, salt, and red pepper flakes to spice it up. While that's heating up, I start seasoning my protein, which tonight I'm having 99% ground turkey. Keeping it lean, people. Get with the program. Eat lean, get lean. Tonight's sauce is going to be this Barilla traditional sauce because it's low in calorie and has little to no added fat. My toppings are going to be some added tomatoes, green onions, a slice of turkey bacon, and some jalapenos because the Mexican in me is kicking in. Oh, and did I mention I also add Cholula to my protein?
I did forget a very important part, which is how do I actually make it into that squash spaghetti look. You kind of have to fork it out. I forgot to display that. So yeah, you fork it out, you make it into spaghetti squash, and bam. So I'm sure some of you are wondering, what about the cheese, G? Well, good question. No cheese for me. Sam has some cheese though. But when you got 40 grams of fat, well, you gotta choose wisely. So I hope you guys do see the importance of when dieting, volume is key for satiety and wanting to stay full and happy, right? Mm-hmm. Cheers. Thank you. The chopsticks is a plus. Makes you slow down a little bit. I love it. Hit. Make a little extra for your dog so you don't take your macros. It's just spaghetti. <laughs> it's just spaghetti squash. It's water. <laughs> Spicy family. Red flakes, jalapenos, and Cholula. Cholula, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, check out the volume here. I think they use you. No, they can't, but <laughs> check out that right there. Thank Camera. you. Bye. <laughs> We just got back from Fiji, we got engaged, we had the absolute most amazing time, and we felt like something was just missing. So... We're having ice cream! <laughs> We're having ice cream! Ice cream with a little bit of slobber in my mouth. Yum. That's gonna taste um, like spaghetti squash. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is literally perfection. So I'm not gonna give you a whole tutorial on how to make this, but basically you freeze your ingredients overnight. You need to have a Ninja Creamy, which if you watched my Walmart video, I told you, you have to get one because this literally changed our life. I mean, how many people do you know can say they're dieting and eating ice cream every single night? Now this makes dieting effortlessly and getting shredded on stage that much better. Mm. Mm. I got gummy worms. I got gummy worms too. <laughs> we got gummy worms, Reese's cups, some Cali in the crunch, and sometimes when we get a little crazy and want to be a little naughty, some Oreos, gluten free though, for your boy. So that's gonna be all on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Be sure to catch us on the next video of the prep series. I love you guys, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace, baby. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Can I try it? No, you literally have your own. Mmm, I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. She's crazy. Insane. Insane!